If you had a goldfish, you might notice that it's rarely not active. This is true for most fish, since they constantly swim around and follow the current. Of course, there are times when they take a break and hover in a trance-like state with their eyes still wide open. They do this when they sleep or rest, to be more precise. But because they don't have eyelids, they can't close their eyes like us. Most fish would still move a bit while sleeping, so they can have a constant flow of water through their gills to maintain the oxygen level. However, there are exceptions. For example, the vivid parrotfish makes a blanket of mucus around its body while sleeping for protection, just like a mosquito netting for humans. Sleep tight, little fish. These are whales resting on the surface of the ocean, or logging, because they look like some grey tree logs in this state. Scientists used to believe that whales only engage in a brain half-asleep behavior, which means they shut down one brain hemisphere while the other stays alert for any dangers. In order for an easy picture, they sleep with one eye open. But when scientists bumped into these sleeping whales, they knew that was just a part of the story. These sperm whales sleep by staying vertically in the water and seem to be in a deep state with both hemispheres shut down. What do you think they look like? Ballistic missiles? A forest in the ocean? Migratory birds usually have to take long flights for many days, from continent to continent and across the oceans. Just imagine yourself on a 12-hour flight from New York to Seoul. Pretty tired, right? So how do they sleep or rest? Same as whales, scientists used to believe that migratory birds sleep with one side of the brain shut down, while the other stays awake. They may sleep while gliding or take a very short nap mid-air. However, new research suggests that frigate birds may actually sleep mid-flight with the whole brain shut down. But they sleep for a very short period of time, usually only about 45 minutes a day. Well, imagine yourself doing skydiving and taking a few seconds napping while falling in the air. For us, that's called fainting instead of sleeping. The owl must be the spirit animal of so many people because its sleeping position looks like us struggling on a Monday to go to work. While owls look weird with their judging eyes and the head that can turn almost 360 degrees, I think we can agree that they look super cute when sleeping. Only baby owls though, since adult owls sleep upright. Why do baby owls sleep this way? Maybe they just don't give a hoot about life. Just kidding. A possible reason is that their heads are so heavy, so they lie down on their stomach instead. They can also do this on a tree, with their claws piercing into the branch, while their heads drift away into the dreamland. Aw, adorable. A cave full of bats hanging upside down is a familiar image from horror movies. But have you ever thought that those characters in the movies were actually interrupting these creatures' sleeping time? Bats have unique body features to sleep upside down, just as easy as sleeping in a bed for humans. This is also their ready-to-fly position, so if predators show up, they can take off quickly, like Batman jumping down from a building. Have you ever wondered what would happen if bats fell while sleeping? Actually, the joint system of the animal is so effective that it will continue to hang even if it dies in this position. That's why you can see thousands of bats sleeping peacefully together without worrying about some falling out of beds, like they are just hanging out. Next up we have flamingos, and their sleeping position looks like they are training to be the next karate kid, standing on one leg. This is a strange creature for sure. Flamingos sleep with their heads on their backs and stand on one leg for a period of time. Not to mention that they have weird beaks and eat with their heads upside down. Scientists assume that flamingos sleep like this to maintain their body's temperature, since their long legs can lose a lot of heat. Another theory is that flamingos sleep like this to have a leg up on predators, which means they can move quickly when threatened. Or you know, maybe they just want to kick that leg into their foe's face. To many people's surprise, Sloths, the creatures that have the infamous reputation of laziness, 
only sleep for about 8 to 10 hours per day in the wild. A sloth only sleeps as much as me? Well, I guess people can start to call me a sloth now. Back in the day, scientists used to believe that sloths could sleep in one place for many hours in the wild. But the truth is, they move between their favorite spots by night and return when the day comes, which tricks many scientists. Also, they can quickly blend into the canopy to avoid predators while moving. Did I just use the word quickly for a sloth? Well, I guess this animal is full of surprises, like Flash, the sloth in Zootopia. It's hard to catch the sight of a sleeping giraffe, but when you do, it may be the cutest thing you've ever seen. Baby giraffes sleep on their butts. Nap time is just so easy when you have your own pillow right on your body like this, but you also need to have a super long neck. However, when baby giraffes grow up, they can hardly do this anymore. Adult giraffes do not always sleep with their eyes closed because, well, they have to keep an eye on predators. They often sleep standing and must stay alert for any threats nearby. Giraffes only sleep for about four to six hours in captivity and even less in the wild. Fun fact, until the 1950s, scientists still believed that these animals didn't sleep and argued if they even lay down at all because they could never catch a moment of them resting. Only after watching giraffes in captivity did they know these creatures can sleep on their butts like this. Like giraffes, horses don't sleep much and can sleep standing up to stay alert for predators. Adult horses sleep for only three hours per day. When humans sleep, our muscles tend to loosen, but horses have a special arrangement of muscles to lock the major joints in their legs so they cannot fall while sleeping standing. They can also stand on only three legs to support their 500 kilogram body weight. If the mannequin challenge is hot again, I guess no one can beat a sleeping horse. Lastly, we have the sleeping snow white beauty of Antarctica, polar bears. Oh, so cute. With a body that can quickly overheat, they sleep almost any time and anywhere to conserve energy. Like humans, they can sleep seven to eight hours a day with a few naps. They just dig a shallow pit in the snow and doze off belly down, putting their backs into the wind. If snow piles up on top, they will consider that a blanket. They can stay under the snow for a few days, wait for a storm to pass, and start hunting some seals right after a good sleep. When sleeping, even a fearful beast can look so cute. But don't be foolish enough to wake them up. Surprising fact, polar bears do not hibernate. Only the females den while pregnant, which means they build a hollow in the snow to give birth and raise cubs. Well, that's it for today's video. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't sleep on our new and exciting videos. Thanks for watching.